Julia Lee from Bell Direct for a wrap of the market's performance this week and a look at the week ahead. Domestically, there's been two key themes on the market this week. The first has been capital raisings and the second has been takeover talk and speculation. The first capital raisings has been negative for share prices. We've seen stocks like 10 and Sundance falling on the back of capital raisings. But the second takeover talk and speculation has been good news for stock prices. And we've seen stocks like Qantas, Perpetual, as well as Whitehaven Coal rising. Next week, domestically, on Tuesday, we'll be watching the RBA minutes come through. And on the company news front, Monday, we see Galaxy's uh, shareholders meeting. And on Wednesday, we will see Sydney Airport's uh, main numbers come through. But of course, investors will be focused in on offshore events. And there's three key events to watch out for. First of all, we do see the Greece elections on Sunday. Secondly, we'll see the G20 meeting on Monday and Tuesday, followed by the FOMC or the US Federal Reserve meeting on Tuesday and Wednesday. Now, if we do see uh, Greece adding to volatility in the markets, the expectation is that we will see coordinated central bank action being announced out of that G20 meeting. Of course, there is also growing hopes for more quantitative easing coming out of the FOMC meeting. So we will be watching that speech by Ben Bernanke, and the magic word for markets is going to be quantitative easing.